This is Ken from Coffee Crafters and I wanted to do a little demo video on how to change a on off switch uh, in an Artisan 3 or an Artisan XE. And this actually causes some confusion sometimes because there's no indicator uh, marking on the switch on which is open and which is closed to give you an orientation. Uh, but there is a way to tell on the side. So um, you have to have the neutral terminal, which happens to be terminal three on the white wire on the top. That's the neutral that, that makes the LED light work. So we're on an Artisan 3, so we have the lid up. If you're changing the switch on an Artisan XE, you can actually do it just by removing the front panel of the roaster and reaching in there um, and unclipping it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna use some needle nose pliers to pull the leads off the wires. Okay, so once the three leads are off of the switch, there's a little, if you get in there close, Bryce, there's a little spring tab on the top and the bottom. And if I push that down, I'll be able to get the switch out. Now, when you take the old switch out, you should have the silicone dust covers on it. If you don't have the dust covers on it, uh, we really recommend putting them back on because what happens with this switch is dust will get between the red rocker and the black housing and after you roast for a while that there'll be enough debris in there to break contact and the switch will stop working that's one of the most common things so i'm going to take my new switch and i'm going to hook the silicone cover over one end and then over the other end and then the main thing on these is make sure to push down on the sides and make sure that silicone is seated on there and we're seated all the way around and then we want to determine which one of these tabs is tab that has the three on it because that's going to go on top with this white wire and Bryce you want to insert that photo in the video here that shows a close-up of where the tabs one two and three are Now, being that I have the lid up in the air, which is how you'd probably change it if you're in an Artisan 3, um, I'm going to put that tab uh, up, tab 3. One other way you can tell that it's tab 3 is if you look really close on the top of that tab, you'll see a little inscription of a light bulb. That's also the way to tell that that goes to the neutral, which makes the light work. So I've got tab 3 up. I'm going to push that into place, and you will hear it click. And one of the things you want to do, especially on the Artisan 3, so we're going to start at the top and we got the neutral wire. We're going to plug that one in first. And I like to hold the switch from the back side or the top. You do the same thing on an XE. Hold it from the top while you push that tab on. The center tab, which is the output side of the switch, is the yellow wire. We're going to push that into place. And then the red wire, which is the fuse, the input power goes into the bottom. And that's as the orientation is with the lid up. If this lid were down on an XE, then the white wire would be to the front of the roaster towards you, the yellow in the center and the red uh, input power on the back side. So that's it. We're clicked into place, got the neutral on the top, and we just change the switch.